So if you watch any real estate or finance related content on YouTube, you probably heard of this guy, Meet Kevin. I know personally, I saw his videos get suggested to me over and over and over again for about a year before I finally decided, all right, something's up. I got to click on one of these videos. It was one of his news videos that I clicked on. It was reporting something that was happening in Congress. I can't even remember what it was. It was about four minutes long. And after I watched the video, I remember thinking, wow, so this is what it feels like to watch the news and not get a shot of cortisol. So if you don't know what that is, it's actually the stress hormone. I immediately subscribed because I was blown away with how I felt after watching Meet Kevin's video. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is what Kevin teaches you how to do in his YouTube course. And when I say this, I mean that whole story I just explained. He tells you how you can show up over and over and over again in front of millions of people. So when they finally give you that chance, they click on that first video, you're going to get them to subscribe you're going to get them to become long-term fans. Not because you asked them to smash the subscribe button, but because they like who you are. So my name is Keaton and I'm the co-founder of a company called Course Ranks. You see, there's this huge problem going around in the online course industry and it's this. There's no barrier to creating an online course. Literally anyone with a skill or a little bit of experience can sign up for a Teachable or a ClickFunnels account, create a course in their basement and turn around and sell that course for hundreds or potentially even thousands of dollars. So this is great great news for people who want to be educators, but it's horrible news for people like you and me that want to learn. So why is that? Because when we're getting ads for 15 different online education programs every day, we don't know which one to pick. We have no clue who is credible and who isn't. And that's where course ranks comes in. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you base every single restaurant you go to solely off of a Google review? I didn't think so, but hey, they help you when you're in unfamiliar territory, right? Which buying a course pretty much every single time is unfamiliar territory. And guys, this this is why I love my job. Our mission here at Course Ranks is to demystify buying make money online courses, both with reviews on our platform and videos just like this one. So with that intro, let's get into the review. Meet Kevin's course costs $609 currently. I know he's always raising that price, but he's also always got a discount code, which is typically changing, but it's like 40% is usually the best one he has. So if you use the 40%, right now it's around $365 plus tax, and you can bundle it with other courses like I did. So you get a better deal on multiple courses, but of course you'll end up spending more money. Now, Kevin hosts his courses on Teachable and the total hours of video in this YouTube course comes out to about 13 hours and 45 minutes. So you could get through it pretty quickly if you double speed everything, or it might take you about a month to get through, depending on how much free time you have on your hands. The tutorials and lectures Kevin has in the course, it's mainly just Kevin talking head videos and there's some editing and camera tutorials as well, where he kind of walks you around with his phone and shows you how things work. All right, so this brings me to you know what actually gets covered in the course. You can check out these different sections on his sales page, but I'll just give you my thoughts on each of them. So the first section titled Let's Get Started is just a small background on Kevin and his thoughts on the most important aspects of any video you post on YouTube. Then he's got kind of a quick start section. This is some details on how to film outside and inside with both a smartphone and a DSLR and how to build a great indoor set for getting more views and looking more professional. Then we've got preparing for a video. Kevin goes over a little bit of scripting, different myths associated with engagement on your YouTube videos and how to effectively plan for your video, etc. Then we've got the section of why videos fail. First, we've got common pitfalls, uh, managing expectations with videos and how the algorithm works. This is a really good section. I really enjoyed it. Then we've got audio and first edits. Kevin believes audio is the most important aspect of any video. So this is training on good audio in and outdoors. Next, we've got subject matter and storytelling. So this is tips on what to talk about and what to focus on when you're talking to the camera. Following that, we've got the five minute edit and how Kevin posts three to five times per day. So I really enjoyed this part. This is details on Kevin's set, creative and filming process. It's very detailed, very in-depth, and really gave me some new insights on how I can improve our content here at Course Ranks and the rate at which we're able to produce it with just a few slight adjustments. Next, we've got the truth about the algorithm. Guys, this might have been my absolute favorite section of the course. Amazing insights on what the algorithm cares about and what it doesn't care about. This is just a small section on how to do the settings on your camera. Then we've got a gear section, what to buy. There's a spreadsheet with the links and everything else. Then insurance, taxation, and liability. Pretty interesting section on what to do once you get a little bit bigger. Kevin recommends having media insurance once you get over like 100,000 subscribers. Next, we've got easy videos you can make now. This is help getting started and Trojan horsing, as Kevin calls it. And we'll talk about what a Trojan horse is a little bit later. Then we've got uploading, making money, and monetizing. Details on YouTube SEO and different ways to get monetized. It's not super detailed, just 
just a few thoughts that he has. Then we've got editing secrets. This is just one video going over more of how Kevin tries to edit every video in five to 10 minutes. Then final tips, which is a miscellaneous section covering other things. And then Trojan horse examples, a spreadsheet with a few examples of the Trojan horse technique he recommends in this course. And then lastly, we've got 2021 YouTube updates. I really enjoyed these, just some other miscellaneous thoughts that Kevin added onto the course. As part of joining, you get access to all of those for free. So as you can see, Kevin is thorough and there's a lot in this course. But in addition to that, guys, he's got a Discord channel where you can ask anything related to the course. Either Kevin or somebody else in the course will answer you. I got an answer pretty quickly on the one I had. And in addition to that, he live streams every day and you can get Kevin to personally review your channel with a two minute audit. He'll tag you when he does it so you don't have to sit through an hour long live stream every day waiting for him to answer your question or review your channel. So he'll just say, hey, I'm reviewing your channel at 42 minutes into the live stream and then you can watch that two minute edit and you're on your way with personal advice from Kevin. This level of customer service at this scope of how many people are in this course is pretty much unheard of. All right, so I've covered what's in the course, but I still think the question you might have in your head is, is it right for me? And I have spent personally over $30,000 on online programs, just like Kevin's, and I've bought a lot of great ones and a lot of crappy ones. And just a quick note, if you wanna see reviews of all the courses I've taken, some of the courses anyway, go check out our YouTube channel. There's tons of reviews there and we're releasing more every single week. So in spending those $30,000 on these courses, I've learned that the main thing when it comes to buying a course is to ask yourself, has this person done what I want to do? People can only teach well what they have actually achieved. So in this case, you've got to ask yourself, do I want to run a YouTube channel like me, Kevin's channel? Kevin runs a channel, A, spits out multiple videos every single day with fairly minimal editing, but lots of value. B, it covers finance, real estate, and news. And C, is mostly shot in a studio with a lot of hardware to make producing content effortless and frictionless. But he does have some other videos that are a little bit more complex with lots of overlays, B-roll, storytelling, etc., where he's outside talking to people, interviews, all that kind of thing. So the question becomes, do you want to run that kind of channel? Or are there aspects of that that you feel would be right for you? Then that's great. This program is a thousand percent worth it. And just a quick note here, guys. The other thing is, do you want a life like I can meet Kevin's life. Does he, you know, real estate investing, investing in stocks, investing, you know, having a YouTube channel, all of those things. Do you want that to be what your life looks like? Because if that's not the case, then maybe it's better to find another creator who lives a life more similar to what you want so that their perspectives and, you know, other things just about life and happiness are going to come out in the course. And if you buy from someone that you personally resonate with, you're going to do a lot better. So the question becomes, do you want to run that type of channel? Or are there assets? aspects of his channel that you feel would be right for you, then great. This program, in my opinion, is a thousand percent worth it. We'll go over more in-depth kind of rating at the end, so stay tuned for that. But let's say you like Graham Stephan's channel a little bit better, you think he's more relatable, you think you'd rather run a channel like him, then buy Graham Stephan's course. That's going to be the best course for you because you personally resonate with that person. The other thing to consider here is that if you're really taking YouTube seriously and you want it to be a career, you want to make money off of it, you need to look at how the different creators are monetizing as well. So Graham Stephan, for example, monetizes mainly off of AdSense. He does have a couple programs, but they're not as highly priced as Kevin's and he doesn't push them nearly as hard. He makes money off of sponsorships. You know, uh, he also has a podcast. He's got all these different things running online. Kevin makes money primarily from his teachable courses. And if you want to be an educator, then Kevin's course is going to be great for you. But if you take someone like Ali Abdal, for example, who also has a YouTube course, he runs a little bit different style of channel. It's more lifestyle. Style. He doesn't have high ticket courses, except the one that's for YouTube, ironically. And the CPM for his channel is much lower and his monetization strategies are different. So think, what's my end game for the YouTube channel? Do I just want to be as famous as possible, put out as much content as possible, then find somebody who's done what you want to do specifically and then go buy their program. So one more note here, guys, a lot of people argue against online courses saying all the information is out there for free, but really that's not actually true. What most people don't realize about these online courses is that the value comes from the different perspectives of different people selling courses. So that's why I don't mind spending hundreds of dollars on really good courses like Beat Kevin's because I know that even if I just learn 
one thing that helps me simplify my workflow or get a new customer, whatever it is, even if it's just that one thing, it's going to be 100% worth it. And to put it bluntly, online courses don't work unless you do. I could have the best information in the world when it comes to making a YouTube channel from all of the top channels, YouTubers out there, and I wouldn't make any progress if I didn't take action. So if you've taken courses before and then you haven't done anything about them, that's on you, that's not on the course creator. So in a nutshell, this is what Meet Kevin covers in his course. Number one, get the right gear. You can start with a smartphone and a cheap microphone, but try to make sure your shot looks as good as possible. Try filming outside if you don't have money or time to put up a good set indoors. Two, there's no such thing as the algorithm being mad at you. The algorithm only takes into account what people are doing on your video. Are they clicking on it? Are they watching it? Are they sharing it? And are they doing things on your video that they normally don't do? For example, if somebody leaves a comment on every single YouTube video they watch and they comment on your video, it's gonna be a very small bump. But if someone hardly ever comments and then YouTube sees them comment something genuine and long, it means they actually liked what you put out and that's gonna give you a bigger bump in the algorithm. So this brings us to number three, which is the secret to growing is creating great content. Great, valuable content with unique perspectives and interesting views. So I've made over a hundred YouTube videos. I feel like I understand the value portion, but here's what Kevin taught me that I never really got before. You got to be raw as well as valuable. So most people I think see YouTubers and they're like, well, all they do is sit in front of the camera and talk. Well, yeah, but it's a lot harder than it looks. You've got to script the content or at least have an outline of what you're going to talk about. And then you basically have to have a conversation with yourself. And if you can't do that in a natural way, your videos on YouTube really aren't going to work out. So if you haven't been taking off, maybe this is the reason. Number four, don't waste time in the editing room. So if you look at the difference between someone like Graham Stephan or Ali Abdal, like I mentioned early, and meet Kevin's videos, Kevin hardly edits his videos because he has so much hardware that allows him to film in real time and not have to edit afterwards. And fun fact for you, meet Kevin actually just passed Graham Stephan in watch time just earlier this year. So, I mean, he's putting out a lot more content than Graham. So it makes sense. He just has more at bats. And that's really what he teaches you how to do in this course. The skill that Kevin's developed that not a lot of other people have, guys, is being natural in front of camera and just talking, like being able to stream of consciousness talk in a coherent way that allows his viewers to connect with him as a, a real person instead of just someone behind a camera talking at them. So instead of relying on editing to keep people engaged, Kevin relies on himself actually offering enough value and saying in a way that makes you feel like he's there with you to keep people engaged. So number five is to Trojan horse your videos. This means growing your channel by making videos that get people to click, things like trending news videos about other creators on the platform or popular topics. And then instead of sharing the typical same thing that everyone's always talking about with that title, share something different, share a unique perspective, experiences, or entertainment in a way that's unique to you. That's why people watch YouTube videos, people. It's called YouTube for a reason. Be yourself. All right, that's it for the in a nutshell section. Typically, we have a con section in our course review videos, but honestly, I can't find any cons in Kevin's course. Now, there is part of me that thinks the course is a little too heavy on stuff like lighting, gear, like sound, and a little too little on how to actually create great content. But I think for Kevin, making great content just isn't that hard. And he's really good at simplifying this process for you. But here's the thing, I think for Kevin, making videos just isn't that hard. Making good content comes very natural to him. And he's trying to get you in the course not to overthink it. So originally I thought this is a con for me, but really he, I think he purposefully gives you less information so that you just go out there and do it instead of trying to overthink it. You need to post, that's the secret to figuring out what's going to work because what might work for you won't work for me or somebody else. All right, we're almost done, I promise. Let me just give you our final course ranks ratings and a couple alternatives to Kevin's course. So if you wanna shop around a little bit, you totally can. All right, so when it comes to overall score, we've got quality of content, five out of five, definitely. Credibility of instructor, five out of five. Relevance, five out of five. This course is brand new. Community and support, there's a four out of five. This is more of a personal thing for me. There's just a lot going on in Discord and I'm not super super familiar with the platform. And so if you're brand new to that, it might seem like a lot to you and you're not really sure what's, you know, what to do. But the fact that he live streams almost every single weekday and you can get your answers, you know, that really brings him up to a five out of five. So I'm 
hesitant to give him a four out of five. What do you guys think? Anybody who's taken the course, maybe let us know in the comments below. And then the average course ranks rating on the actual website is 4.7 out of five, which brings Kevin's total value for price to about 24 out of 25. But before we close out, let's just quickly go over the alternatives to Kevin's course. We've got Graham Stephan's YouTube Creator Academy. This one's $200 with the code 200 off, and it's the highest rated on course ranks, so definitely worth looking into. Next, we've got Buy 9 to 5 YouTube Monetization and Automation Program. This is more if you want to create a channel that's just automated. You don't have to be there every day, you know, on different topics that you might not be covering as a personal brand channel. And then lastly, also highly rated in the social growth section of course ranks, we've got Sean Cannell's courses, which range from about $97 to $2,000. So if you want to create a channel more similar to his, which is more, I think, repurposed content, just, and again, content, 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 but in a very different way than what Meet Kevin does, then you might check out his course. We also have a video on our YouTube channel going over the top five rated courses in the YouTube space and some of the other spaces where you can make money online. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. If we could get Kevin to comment on this video or just see it, that would be amazing. Just try to share it with him, share it with your friends, whatever it is, that really helps us out. And we'd love to see you on the other side at Course Ranks, leaving a review, buying a course, or just letting us know what you think of the platform. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time.